<laughs> Double drag it, your boy. Hey, Amen. Like it back with some new heat for y'all today. Like I never left. You heard what she said. Let's get it. Yeah, man. So, we got a new death battle match out, man. Big facts. New death battle match. They actually went, like, posse against, not the whole posse, but they but they going Marvel versus DC. What side oh, do you rock man. with the most? I got to go with Marvel, man. Yeah. I think I used to be DC a yeah. long time ago. Um, but I don't have a lot of like I have favorites, but I don't have a lot of favorites as I do with Marvel. Yeah, I think too it could be like that Marvel market their stuff better. Yeah, even even if you take away that the characters, I liked Marvel. Yeah, the characters fire. I like Marvel characters better, and I feel like it has a more accurate power scaling. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. That's kind of why I kind of tend to like those better. Mm -hmm. And they have way more female, female, uh, way more female superheroes over there, too, from yeah. what I've seen. And that's been marketed properly. Facts. DC, <laughs> Wonder Woman. Yeah, Wonder Who Wonder else Wonder had is. a movie in DC? Well, that was a woman. I can't think of one. Hey, man, DC. I'm man. just saying. We love y'all, too, man. I'm saying. But yeah. Uh, um, Who we got? Winter Soldier versus Red Hood. Yep. Oh, I thought this was a uh, Deadpool. Isn't that? Oh, now, I know Who Winter Soldier. Is. Can we look up Red Hood photo? Yeah. We can show the people too. Look up Facts. Red Hood. Also, shout out to um, Absolutely Geek yeah. YouTube. Um, I think he did a collab with Death Battles for this video, and uh, he told us about it. So, shout out to Absolutely Geek. Oh, this the dude that be with Batman. That was that was in like Batman's little posse, I think. Kind of like Night Nighthawk and um, Robin. I mean, Robin, Robin. That's his name, Robin. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah. He got the guns. Well, bro, I don't see. I need to ask Kurt, bro. Kingdom Minds. Why don't you call him? Call him and get a. Uh, Phone a friend. Phone a friend. Who Actually, he got us going? Him and uh, Fletch, they do. They know everything about yeah. all this, bro. You can tell them who you got in a one on one. Phone a friend, y'all. We about to call our homie Fletch. We phone a friend. He know everything what it is to know about the comics and stuff. <laughs> bro, what's good? Chilling, <laughs> man. Chilling. What's up? What's up? What up, Mike? How you feeling, bro? <laughs> Chilling. Till, and we doing a video right now. We mid recording, and we decided to stop and call you doing the video because we watching like a, um, you know, that death battles stuff on YouTube. Uh -huh. yeah, yep. And they got two people on there that we don't know. So last one, got? they got Winter Soldier. We know Winter Soldier, but they going he going against uh, Red Hood. We didn't know who the freak was Red Hood. So it was like <laughs> Jason Todd. Who is it? Robin, basically. Basically, basically it's Robin. Uh, so, Red Hood is Robin right after he died and came back. And, like, he got a vendetta now. So, he's like a Robin with a mean streak, basically. Oh, wow. okay, did, did, okay. Did he gain any powers? Uh, not really. Like, so, you know... When you when you rock, when you rock with, like, the Batman cast, you don't really got powers. You just, you just fight real good. Right. So, he... Uh, Unlike Batman, he'll use a he uses guns and like so he got Batman training with a little bit of evil in him, so he, he cold. Mm. So um, who you who you taking in the one on one then? Who see when a soldier guy he got that little metal arm on him, right? <laughs> Ooh, that's a good death battle. And he seen you seen he seen kind of close to Captain America's strength, and all. Yeah, he, he, yeah. yeah. So at one point, you know, he takes over Captain America. Okay. Hey Google. But you gotta remember though. You also Shut gotta up. remember. We got Batman training though. So True. We got Batman training. Batman legitimately can take out everybody. Yeah. His ass is good at adapting. Exactly. Ah, so man. let's see. So, so let's, ooh. Man, you know what? If it was if 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 it was Captain America versus uh uh the 
Say hey, Google. Like, okay, I, I can go. And call. <sighs> but I may have to go with. I may have to go hood on this one. Who you going with? Mm. Hood. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. We figured we call you, man. You know, you're the expert when it comes to the comics and all of that. So. Man, how old? This is a good one. See, this is what I need. I need. I need. I need Ford on this one too. I need Kingdom Miles on this. I one. know. I was just talking to. I said Kurt too, but we called you first. So. Oh, and y'all should have told us about this. We can all jump on this. We just heard about it today. We just heard about it literally while we was recording. Oh, man. Um, but yeah, uh, go ahead and shout out the channel and stuff. Um, uh, on the video if you can. All right, so ooh, you know the Nacho News channel. We on hiatus right now, but I can shout out Isaac Fletcher channel. That's that's the one that's moving right now. So, uh, go ahead and check out Isaac Fletcher. I S A A C F L E T C H E R, and that's it. Right, that's it right there. I bet. Appreciate it. Thank oh, you very much. Oh, I got one more. Yo, shout out, shout out to One Shot Game Show too. Definitely check that one out. You know, okay. One Shot Game Show, One Shot Game Show. That's my game show. That's 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 what I do live. So. All right, we gonna check, check them out. That one out. I bet. Appreciate the info, man. No, no problem. No problem. All right, bro. Yeah, yeah. All right. So we kind of got a little bit more backstory on Red Hood. Kind of knew yeah. about Winter Soldier because of Mark Marvel's marketing, but you know, yeah. But yeah. All right. So after you got the information, who are you taking? After we got the information, I gotta go Bucky, bro. I was thinking Bucky too. I gotta go Bucky, bro. But it's like <sighs> he did say Batman smart stuff. He did Batman training. Can Bucky beat Batman? I don't think so, but I don't know. But Bucky was getting caught like a bunch of times. He was getting caught, but he wasn't in his right state of mind really until true the end of stuff. But does that mean why he didn't get caught? Hmm. He was bodying Black Panther a little bit. Yeah. Remember. Rest in peace, man. Chala. Okay. Well, we got we we gonna see. We gonna go Winter Soldier versus Red Hood, Marvel versus DC. See who's gonna win. You ready to get into the video? Oh man! This ass from this. What are you doing? Huh? What are you even doing? We trying to bet. We picked the same person. You got a problem? We can go to AA or something. I thought I had the gambling problem. Listen, you ready to get into the video? The same person. You still want to bet. <laughs> you want to bet on who said it first? I was going to switch my bet up and go with Red Hood and bet. You can go with Red Hood if you want. That's fine. But I ain't going to pull no $20 out of my pocket. That's why I gave, I gave you the money to bet. I'm fine. I still wouldn't bet. <laughs> I'm like, no, thank you. <laughs> All right, you ready to get to it? Let's run it up. Mm. Roof to teeth. Oh. Tea. Sidekicks. Every good superhero or world conquering scientist needs one. Right, Boomstick? That's right. Hey, I think we all know which one of us is the real sidekick here. Such as the Winter Soldier, Marvel's the brainwashed assassin. And Red Hood, DC's resurrected Robin turned vigilante. He's whiz Dang, and they were the same thing. And yeah. it's our job to analyze their weapons, <laughs> arms, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. World War II. As strange as it is to name a war a sequel like some sort of movie, it was a time of turmoil across the globe. The brave and patriotic did their part, including one James Buchanan Barnes, known by his friends as Bucky. As a young lad, Bucky, Bucky. ripped open a standard superhero booster pack to find classic cards like dead parents and deep desire to fight for justice. And that combo served him well in the U.S. military. He joined at the age of 15 and eventually got recruited for special assignments and training with British commandos. Not long after that, he became friends with his own personal hero and the country's favorite Boy Scout, Captain America. Bucky was initially unaware of the captain's secret identity until one night he walked in on Steve Rogers changing into his costume. 
<laughs> well, I guess that's one way to get to know a guy. Luckily, Cap had a lot of faith in Bucky and asked him to he become like, his way younger than him on this one. hero mm -hmm. work. They fought side by side, kicking Nazi ass throughout the rest of the war. The duo seemed to be unstoppable until one fateful mission when they left after a plane to catch Nazi scientist Baron Zemo. Fortunately for Bucky, he was able to grab onto the plane while Cap fell into the ocean to nab his last diving merit badge. Get it? Cause, cause he's a boy scout. Unfortunately for Bucky, the plane was booby trapped and exploded. It appeared as though the captain's loyal sidekick had been killed. But the ones we love in comic Dang. books never truly leave us. Sometime after the war, so pretty much sidekick versus sidekick. Batman sidekick versus Captain America sidekick. Yeah. They decided to scoop him up and experiment on him. Cause why not? Who could pass up a free body you found? Even if it was missing an arm. Bucky's training and experience made him the perfect candidate as the ultimate assassin. And after they revived and brainwashed him, they outfitted him with a shiny new bionic arm. Turning Bucky into the Winter Soldier. Along with this new persona, the Winter Soldier sported a sundry of skills throughout his career that made him a killing man, machine. 94. For starters, Fine, he was injected with the Short. Infinity Force, I mean. which permanently increased <laughs> his physical ability to an enhanced This made him quite the formidable foe even for Captain America, a foe who seemingly abandoned the values the duo previously shared. These two have fought plenty of times, and Bucky's been able to hold his own against his former partner. His advanced strength and speed, coupled with his knowledge of various fighting styles, make for a lethal combination. He's skilled in everything from hand-to-hand -hand close quarters combat to an impressive arsenal of ranged mm -hmm. weaponry. Hey, Patty. Oh yeah, he's got a ton of sweet guns hey, that are up. with Nova. some palm print sensors, so only he can shoot them. If anyone other than the Winter Soldier tries to use these firearms, they will self-destruct. He also mm. wields a katana, throwing knives, pretty much whatever comes in the welcome bag at Assassin Con. Always a good time at Ascon. How long has he had a robot arm? I think it was for the video. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's so definitely good. the coolest metal arm I've ever seen. What about mine? I made it myself. Come on, Wiz. Look at that thing. <laughs> that thing like a Lego piece. A <laughs> a Freaking pipe plane. with it. He can emit electric charges, and it's so strong. Knives break on impact. It's not about the size of the arm. It's how you use it. Well, sure, it's strong, but it's not indestructible. It's been torn up by a vibranium sword. Wait, wait. I thought the arm was made of vibranium. You're thinking of the movies. In the comics, Bucky did not receive a vibranium arm birthday present from T'Challa. Canonically, his arm is made up of strong but unspecified metals, likely a form of titanium alloy similar to the Iron Man suit. Even without vibranium, it's tough to keep up with Bucky. He took a direct shot from Iron Man's repulsor blast, which was strong enough to tear through a helicopter moments later. And consider the heroes he's battled. Wolverine, Daredevil, Iron Man, and obviously Captain America. Oh, it's a shame Bucky and Cap were at odds for so long. They should have just knocked him on the head real good. That's the scientific way to get people to remember who they are, right? Or you can use a cosmic mm -hmm. cube to rewrite Tessa the Rex. That's what Captain America did to save Bucky. Who was so pissed off, he just straight up crushed the cube with his bare bionic hand. While this brought him back, Bucky wasn't the same man who went into those icy waters. His remorse for his crimes was tough to overcome, and he would always wonder if he's done enough good to finally redeem himself. But thankfully, it was hard to shake <laughs> Bucky everything got he that learned arsenal. from his hero, Steve. Man. Bucky returned to fighting for justice, and even took up the shield himself for a while. Proving that, despite his sordid past, Bucky's persistence and resilience makes him a hero in his own right. When you think of the word sidekick, who immediately comes to mind? You. It's you. N no, Robin, the boy wonder, Batman's iconic crime-fighting partner. Yeah, it's a close second. Too bad the Cape Crusader's sidecar has been a revolt. They caught fire. He's in the old Batmobile. Not including alternate universes and what-if wow. stories, Batman has taken five different Robins under his bat wing. Some moved on to pursue a superhero career of their own. Others... Didn't turn out so lucky. Mm -hmm. Enter Jason Todd. This poor kid was given the short end of the stick, and then the fans beat him to death with it. Jason grew up on the streets of Gotham, getting by through a life of petty crime until eventually running into the Batman himself. 
Hi, trying to steal the rims off the Batmobile. This kid's got some serious balls. I mean, yeah, you do. You can't exactly look at the damn Batmobile and mistake it for someone else's car. <laughs> Bruce had recently split up with the first Robin, Dick Grayson, and was on the lookout for a new sidekick. I Impressed thought all the Robins were the same. Ability, That's how you know I didn't read none of this. Yeah, me too. Yes, he really was 12. Yikes. Well, creepy child abducting habits aside, Bats hoped he could live up to the last Robin. Too bad he this taller. was a literal Bucky got 40 pounds on him, though. Jason yeah. had no chance in. They got confirmed kill count. I'm sleep. Jason wasn't exactly an extraordinary Robin. And the fans saw it, too. In an unprecedented on panties? Move, DC asked their readers to vote on whether or not Jason Todd would live or die. Are you yep, serious? Dang. To kill the shit out of that kid. <laughs> On an unrelated note, they gonna kill my man? Look at his horrible, feet. Horrible, gruesome death that will lead to some serious mental health issues. Call 555-2337. You gotta pay. The line busy. We gotta pay. Jason Todd 1995. Was dead. <laughs> Until Superboy Prime punched a hole in the fabric of reality and accidentally brought him back. True story. Don't ask. And after a dip what? in a magic hot tub, the Lazarus Pit, Jason was back in top form. Take that, readers! Your contribution means nothing! Resolve renewed, Jason donned a new identity inspired by his own killer, the Red Hood. While the freaky death pit did bring him back stronger and faster, it turns out resurrection comes at a price. Jason was already a hothead, but Red Hood had a serious temper with violent He outbursts. came back cold. He mm. wasn't all right in the noggin, but he had a goal. Destroy Batman and show him his humane methods were unfit for saving Gotham City. If Vance had actually killed the Joker way back when, he never like, You ain't gonna know none of this stuff unless you read comics, bro. For a raging psychopath, he's not exactly wrong. Where Batman failed, Dang. Jason was up for the task. He pushed himself to become a killing machine. Even Bruce would have a tough time keeping up with. Even training with the League of Assassins and the All Cast, a group of monk assassins. So much ass stuff in this episode. In addition to Red Hood's wide array of skills, I didn't skills, see not one piece until he said that. In his arsenal. Most obviously, his armored cowl. While it provides him with sturdy protection, the sensors within also allow him to scan his surrounding area, neutralizing any potential stealth threats. Plus, the hood can also explode, so that's convenient. Sounds like my new hangover recipe. On top oh, of the no, he got shrinkings. I'm gonna have to rethink this. Explosives, guns, and he even wants some of these weird magic swords called the All Blades to fight off supernatural threats. But probably most important is his continual use of venom. Wait, wait, wait. What's the symbiote doing here? No, Yo, no, he no, got two bucks, bro. Yeah, he does. I'm gonna have call. to rethink you know, this. Venom? Bucky just Listen, got. I don't ever know. Been to the gym, like, even once. Dummy, I'm here to carry your arbitrary burdens. Venom is an addictive steroid that increases strength and stamina tenfold. A normal dose also affects the mind, dumbing it down and causing bouts of rage. But Jason's <laughs> superpowers, here I come! You can call me the Red Neck! No, no, you're supposed to inject it! He said Red Neck. <laughs> he said Red Neck. <laughs> oh, dummy, clean that up. Using Venom has made Red Hood strong enough to fight off monsters twice his size, tear through alien tendrils, and even once break the grip of Supergirl. He can hold up a small part Take of the collapsing break the building, grip. dodge bullets, mm -hmm. and even once survived an all-cast ritual called the cleansing, which no human has been able to do in over a thousand years. And while it was difficult to determine if this feat was due to Jason's worthiness or stubbornness, it's safe to say that either way, he's a tough guy. Tough enough to punch through a submarine hull, or at least he carries enough explosives to blow a hole through it. Either yeah, I think way, it wraps for Bucky G. One -on -one they they would put him last. That bat like stealth ability to match his brute strength. He was able to sneak away from Supergirl. Even Bruce will be proud of that one. I could sneak away from her too. Jason <laughs> tried to kill him, but the Red Hood failed and was left to re examine his own personal code. He ultimately decided to be a hero again. Uh, they got him. This man going back and he forth. He even teamed up with Vance and even worked alongside other Robins. He also leads a group of ragtag heroes called the Outlaws. The roller coaster of Red Hood's crime-fighting career has, at best, landed himself in that anti-hero sweet spot. 
and at worst, made him a violent vigilante who takes the law into his own hands. Those are the heads of all your lieutenants. That took me two hours. You want to see what I can get done in a whole evening? Hello, oh, Barbie. Jason, it's me. What do you want, Bruce? Eight assassins from the League of Shadows were gunned down two miles from your current location. Oh, they got it like real life? They were all shot with rounds from a modified M4. A gun I know is in your arsenal. <laughs> Did they up the production or is this? It wasn't me. Don't lie to me. It wasn't me, Bruce. But you know what? You can count on me to crack the case. In fact, I believe there's a bit of evidence that demands my attention right now. Jason. He's a bit of evidence. I'm hungry too, man. That burger like he's been out for like three days. <laughs> the Hall of Fame awareness. Sure. Really? They so once the soldier comes in. gotta have a cold entrance, bro. He always has a cold entrance. But if they do this, like. I remember the one we watched was animated. I don't yeah. think they that one. Maybe they got their bag up or something. That's what's up. Yo, this job, wow, bro. I didn't know it was gonna show it like this. I didn't either. The classic, leave the clothes behind. Okay. And hey, go ahead. You see the venom on his waist? Mm hmm No, he about to use that. Come on, you. Boy, that skinny ass hog. Come on, kid. This one need to get in the gym. This one need to get in the weight room. Oh my God. It, he's like, he's like, let me, let me, let me get the extra small. <laughs> That knife was supposed to break. That's all I'm gonna say. Mm, on impact. Mm-hmm. Choreography though is ridiculous. Ooh. Disabled his arm, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> it's like his only weapon. <laughs> he flipped that man. Yeah. <laughs> they trying to set him up for the venom. Yep. Uh oh. He got his evil part calling to him or something.
I would have been smacked that for your thing and broke it. I would have stuck it in my leg or something. Man. That's how I be when I be at the house and I feel like I got some powers. <laughs> Nothing happens. Right. But I felt the intensity. <laughs> That's that. I'm about to lose, run. Right. <laughs> 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 yeah. mm, mm. Nobody use this shit. Mm. Wait, what? This is Agent Barnes. Target eliminated. Moving on. I just killed him like that. These two were quite evenly matched. Fatality. I feel like this is Agent Barnes. That could have happened at any moment of the fight. That could have been the first thing that happened. <laughs> of experience, similar arsenals, and an unparalleled drive to win. They even had almost identical speed. I mean, we were technically right. We said win a soldier. I was too hot. That also win is totally different after I watched it. The edge in almost every other way. Like how Red Hood had plenty of experience training with Batman and assassins, but Winty had decades of training on him with commandos, as the captain's side piece, an emo assassin, and even as Captain America himself. The Winter Soldier also had an edge in defense. His metal arm was able to shatter a knife on impact, but when Red Hood took a similar hit, his helmet cracked. Red really didn't have any way to stop that arm for good, or Bucky's superhumanness. Sure, using Venom could even the playing field for a short time, but a brief power-up is nothing compared to a metal arm and the permanent infinity formula. And don't take Jason breaking Supergirl's grip out of context. She wasn't expecting the Venom, and they weren't even fighting in the first place. It's interesting, but not nearly as noteworthy as it sounds. Yeah, we know for a fact Venom is a 10 times strength booster. There's no way Red could match a Kryptonian in a real brawl. Red Hood was a deadly combatant, but the Winter Soldier one-upped him with superior experience, survivability, and a consistent strength advantage. Looks like Bucky was the winter. <laughs> the winner is the Winter Soldier. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, you know how, like, somebody win based off of technicality or something weird happening? Yeah. Nothing really weird happened, but the way it felt, it felt weird. It felt like he wasn't supposed to get that W. Exactly. I yeah. feel like, um, overall production of this, dope. Fire. Um, y'all did y'all thing. Um, everybody who was included, Def. Battles, absolutely geek. It oh, felt like a movie to me. It yeah, felt like it I was watching dope. like an actual movie, yo. I did not dope. expect that. I thought it was gonna be like kind of like the cartoon thing. Yeah, that's what I thought it was gonna be. They, they changed. They, they changed props the game. To y'all for sure. When the soldier came in, look. Uh, hey man, uh, y'all gonna let him let me train him for two months before we put the cast. Put him, him in, in the gym. Bro. He need to go in the gym. Let me see. I got. I'm ready. <laughs> so, now, who you about to punch? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god uh, yeah but the way he finished them off um i guess yeah. it just seemed based off looking at both stories it seems as if red hood was gonna win 
But yeah. then they brought up like the Tesseract's formula or something like that. One of the thing formula. I'm like, oh, okay. Now y'all say that. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Who y'all think should have won? I felt like the ending was a little anticlimactic with the with the death. Um, replaying it, it kind of made it feel a little bit more. It was like fatality. It felt like a just like a quick fatality or something like that. Yeah. But um, I thought he was going. I thought somebody was going to lose in like a more like dramatic way or something. Crazy like that. fashion. Yeah. Yeah. But other than that, it was dope. It was pretty that, cool, to, yeah. cool to watch. Yeah, I definitely dope. like how they give you the information on on both sides, so you don't just come in blind and you got yeah. to get the information. You yeah. see which one you think it is. But uh, yeah, I definitely thought Red Hood had that one, man. In a bag, bro. It's messed up. It's all good, man. But let us know who y'all think would have won. If y'all enjoy these videos, want us to do more, you know what I'm saying? Let us know. And yep, yep. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yep. And uh, check out all our social media down below in the description, man. Make sure y'all follow us everywhere. Facts. Double checking out. Peace. Deuces.